I would presume that in the beginning we'll be doing a lot of adding rather than switching um, for people who uh, have not responded to other medications. That's usually where these drugs begin. And as people get more comfort with using them, they start to use them. And if they're if they're happy with, you know, it's it's interesting when you when you are a clinician and you start your first 10 people on a new drug when it comes out and you're sort of watching to see, am I going to be having a lot of trouble or am I gonna be seeing some really nice things? Um, and based on that, you then say, oh, look, this person, I couldn't get them seizure free or couldn't reduce their seizures with drug A, B, C, and D and now, now this drug comes along and it's been working for me, now I'm gonna try it on a few more people. Um, so, uh, it really, I find that it really depends for clinicians on their early experience with a drug. Um, I've already had that experience, interestingly enough, because I was uh, a, an investigator in a study uh, which was much more like clinical practice. It wasn't a randomized controlled trial. It was a safety, a very large safety study. And so I enrolled my first 10 patients. And I have to say, I have a couple who are doing extremely well. That's my personal experience. Um, so uh, if other people have experiences like that, I think that uh, they will try the drug in other patients that are difficult to control. And I think that the, the most important thing is the people who were completely seizure free. And um, you know, I think that people have to be aware that as they push up to higher and higher doses, there are going to be central nervous system side effects that they have to worry about um, fatigue and and uh, you know uh, the usual you know uh, difficulty concentrating and and other things. But but actually, um, in the earlier trial. Um, the randomization was just between placebo and 200 milligrams. There was no 400 milligram dose, and the 200 milligram dose actually, interestingly enough, had a, a, approximately the same discontinuation rate as placebo, um, and people tolerated it quite well. And now with the slow titration, I think that's going to be even more so. So, you know, at, at a 200 milligram dose, I think people may find that they get a nice degree of efficacy without getting into serious central nervous system side effects. Some patients may need to go higher um, to get the effect. Um, and you know, then they may see some of the side effects that made people drop out at the 400 milligram dose. So I think if people are patient and they go up to the appropriate dose and they see how people are doing, uh, that they uh, likely will see that some patients who have not responded to other medications might respond to this one.